My name is Jan Geisler. I'm a patient advocate, a cancer survivor for 14 years. And I've been engaged in research and cancer research for quite a while. Today I'm the director of the European Patients Academy, EOPATI, which is a pan-European project to educate patients about medicines R&D. And I'm also one of the founders of the CML Advocates Network, which, are, which is a worldwide network of leukemia patient organizations in 78 countries. I'm here today because I want to make sure that research is more and more patient-centric. And I think it's extremely important to engage in activities like PFMD because I think we need to work on a systematic level how we engage and involve patients across the whole drug development life cycle to think about uh, the right priorities for research, to involve patients during the planning and conduct of research, as well as in all the post-marketing and post-approval periods where we need to collect data. And a lot is being done and wasted without having patients um, involved because we're asking the wrong questions. We are not asking patients what they really want to see out, coming out of research. And that's why it's very important for me to engage on the PFMD and that's why I'm here to contribute with my experience. The issue today about research is that we have a lot of research waste. A lot of research is being done without having the true needs of patients in mind. So the trials are uh, considering the wrong endpoints. They might not uh, look at quality of life uh, at, at an appropriate way and only focus on efficacy of, of uh, new drugs. They might not uh, look at what patients really want and that's what needs to change. There's been a publication by Ian Chalmers in Nature um, about that about 85% of all investments into research are being wasted by asking the wrong questions or not knowing prior results of other studies and so on. And I think that needs to change. And what the papers actually revealed is that quite often the wrong questions are being asked because patients and potentially doctors are not being asked about what the right outcomes of research should be. And that's what we want to change. We want to make sure that no research is being conducted without the input of patients. I think it's very important to involve patient organizations in the process because that's where the knowledge is. Because patients, patients themselves have their individual disease experience, they go to patient organizations, tell about this and share, share experience and so on. And the patient organizations are the hubs that actually learn about what the real patient experience is, what their needs are, what they probably don't tell their doctor but they are telling their peers. And patient organizations can actually bring that knowledge into R&D at the very early stage, at the planning stage, at the conduct phase of, of, of research. And I think this is uh, extremely important. So the patient organizations have a crucial role in the whole process. My personal goal in PFMD is to bring my experience as a research-oriented patient advocate into this very important initiative. Because it has a lot of interesting aspects which other, other, other initiatives don't have. The global aspect because research is global so initiatives like PFMD have people from the US, from Europe working together in different regulatory environments but in a global research community and we are trying to systematically address how research is being conducted and how patients are being involved. So my personal goal is to bring my experience in because I've been doing that as a patient advocate for about 12 years and that's my main message. We need to work on something that is tangible, that is usable uh, to the benefit of patients.